can visually see the um, the agenda. It's going to start with Megan um, talking about the admin dashboard, then um, I'll move on to how to promote users, and then we'll do that Q&A at the end. Um, so who are admins? Um, admins are often thought of as the local leader of your wiki, but they're also um, take on a number of different roles. One, they can be considered kind of the ambassador or um, the welcome committee to your wiki. So when new folks come, often the first people they look towards is the admin to kind of provide guidance on what's the best way to add content, what's the best way to use Wikia tools, as well as what's kind of the appropriate um, things to add and where to add them. Um, they're often the experts on the topic, um, as well as how to, use, how to use the site, and they often um, act as kind of a diplomat or someone who um, works with community members to kind of figure out their problems. And, and remembering that this role um, contains many of these parts um, and at different times as an admin you're going to need to take on some of these different roles is important um, to think about as you are acting as an admin on your wiki. Um, another um, just quick thing to run down is what can admins actually do to carry out this role. Um, so um, they inherently have a couple of extra rights um, that they're able to do, which is um, not completely listed here, but the major ones include being able to delete, um, so to remove uh, pages from the wiki, as well as to undelete them, so if something happens to get deleted and they need to bring them back. Um, they can also protect pages, and what that means is that you can actually um, lock down or, or um, basically cut out um, editing from other users um, on important pages. Um, if, if something like a policy page needs not to be edited by a bunch of people, or a certain page is just getting a lot of traffic and needs to be um, kind of locked down for a bit, and admin has the ability to do that. They also um, can block both users, or what we call anons. Uh, anons are not logged in users, which will be often represented on the wiki by their IP address, which is um, a string of numbers. So um, if someone or um, is coming by and you know inserting information they shouldn't, or um, causing kind of drama on the wiki, they have the ability to block them. Um, they can access a number of admin tools, which Megan will be walking you through today. Um, they also can edit some of the local messages, as well as um, a number of other um, smaller rights, all of which are listed on the admin um, page on the help wiki. Um, an important um, couple other facts to remember is that if you are the founder or someone who created a wiki, um, you're automatically both the admin and the bureaucrat on that wiki. Um, the term bureaucrat basically is an advanced admin, so this is someone who has the ability to make other users admins, um, and then they include all of the admin rights that I went through. Um, and the last thing to remember is that all these are wiki specific. So if you are the founder of a wiki and have these rights, um, it doesn't mean that you have those rights um, on all wikis or across Wikia. They're really just specific to um, the wiki that, um, that you, are, you are on. Um, now Megan, I'm going to switch over the audio to Megan and she's going to take us through um, the admin dashboard and wiki features. Hey all, I'm Megan. Um, thanks for joining us today. It's pretty exciting for our first webinar here at Wikia. Um, I'm one of the community managers and my focus um, is helping founders and admins. So today I'm going to walk you through the admin dashboard, which is a feature we rolled out in July. Um, and if you're on a wiki and you are an admin, you can find it at the bottom on your toolbar. Um, there's a word that just says admin and you can click on that and that'll bring up the admin dashboard. Um, basically, the admin dashboard was created as a one-stop shop for all your admin needs. So the very first page, the general, which is under the general tab, has all of the tools and features that we thought admins use the most. Um, so let's dive in and go over those buttons. Um, first, we're going to start with the top row titled Wiki. Um, and the first button is Theme Designer. And this feature enables you to customize your background theme, links, and word mark. Um, so if you open up the theme, designer, um, basically you have a couple different tabs and the first one is the theme and that is if you're not very um, design savvy or you just want to get dive right into your wiki, we give you 11 templates that you can choose from and they're all named different and they have different features um, and so you can take a look at those. If you want to get a little more customized, you can move down to the customized tab and there um, 
you can basically you can choose your theme you can choose a color and you can upload a background image and there's hundreds I mean, there's thousands and thousands of really great examples all over Wikia with um, wikis with theme backgrounds, and it's it's a really great, neat thing to kind of make your wiki stand out. Um, so that's always a really nice thing. That's one of the first things that I like to dive into when I'm, um, especially when I'm making test wikis and I just want to fool around. It's just something fun, especially if you're individuals. The next part of the theme designer is the page. And here you can do a lot of customization with buttons, links, header, page colors, or you can actually change the page color so it doesn't have to be white. You can, and um, again, if you travel all over Wiki, you'll see many different examples of this. And a really nice um, touch is the transparency switch, which you can move that up and down. And you can actually bring, um, you can make your pages transparent so your theme comes through, um, which is a really nice touch uh, because then you can actually see your entire theme in the background. So you can do really neat things with that. The next part of theming is the word mark. Um, a word mark is a logo, and at Wikia we call it a word mark. So it's a good word to know. Um, and you can do a couple different things with a word mark. You can choose a text word mark where you could choose um, the different kinds of font. And we offer quite a few. I think it's 12 different fonts that we offer. Um, you can change the size. And you can actually also change the name of your wiki. So if you decided your URL doesn't really match up with the name of your wiki, you can change that right there. And another really fun thing to do is upload your own graphic word mark. And that has to be 250 by 65 pixels. And again, like I've mentioned, there are hundreds and thousands of really amazing um, word marks out there on Wiki. Um, so I would definitely encourage you to check, just bounce around and see all the, all the neat things you can do. They're great examples. So let's move on to recent changes. Um, so recent changes is whenever I need to get to, basically, so recent changes is like the skeleton of activity going on on your wiki. It's a great place to start every day. Whenever you visit your wiki, or at least for me personally, that's the first place I go, um, especially in Community Central. I want to I want to check out what's going on. And this is recent changes is great because you can see all of the activity happening on your wiki. You can see who's joined. You can see who's edited. You can see who's uploaded. You can see what's been deleted. Um, if you're a new admin, I highly recommend that this is the first tool that you really get to know. Um, and it's just a great way to kind of keep track of your activity. Um, it's the backbone of changes, and it's the first place I go to on the wiki. Um, so the next button is um, navigation, top navigation. And this is a great tool um, for a lot of reasons. Um, here you can customize. This is something you can customize, and it's a great way to link out to other parts of your wikis that maybe new users wouldn't know um, immediately. Um, I've seen many different ways that this has been implemented. Um, some examples are for top navigation are characters, episodes. Um, for gaming wikis, they have like a list of the games that are out. Um, something like the Harry Potter wiki, I think that they have all the movies linked out to their you know, pages on, um, on the wiki. And you can also link out to blogs and forums. And it's a great way to get new users to visit other parts of your wiki that are not easily um, found right away and um, it also increases page views so it's really important and that's a great thing to utilize and um, and and just really just create it and, and get it out there it's, it's something that is, it kind of customizes your wiki and sets it apart from others um, so the next is wiki features and that's a new feature we just rolled out recently um, this is a a great page for you to enable optional features here at Wikia. Um, we offer certain things on there like polls, top 10 lists, um, blogs, there's lots of different things, achievements, and so depending on what your wiki is geared towards, you can enable or disable. Um, I know some blogs, some wikis really like blogs and others don't, so you can enable them there. And it's a great page to just kind of manage and figure out like what optional features you want and what you don't want. And it's a great thing to decide as a community as opposed to just getting in there and turning them off. Um, on the second part of Wiki Features is Labs. And right now, um, just chat lives in there. And um, basically, Labs is an area where we'll have optional features for testing. And here, you can leave 
feedback and rate it. And you can also see how many wikis it's enabled on. For instance, right now chat has 30, is enabled on 3,700 different wikis across Wikia. So it's just kind of a neat thing to figure out and get in there and you can use it or turn it on, turn it off, and then you can leave feedback. The next button is the page layout builder. This is a really easy tool and it's, a, it's really great. Um, it's quick and it's easy and it's consistent for all your editors. Basically, you can predefine pages um, and you can design how you want your pages to look. So that way, any, you know, any new editor can come to your wiki and add pages, but let's say you want to have a little more, um, your admins want to have a little more control over the look and feel. This is a great way to have those predefined pages. Um, so it's really important to, to check those out. And one of the things that I definitely want to encourage for the new admins that are joining us today, a great way to test out a lot of this stuff is to create your own test wiki. And then that way you can kind of play around with all of these buttons. That's what I did when I first joined um, Wikia. And it's been really helpful. Um, I do a lot of testing on there. I upload things. I play around with color and themes. And it's great. Um, so the next part of the admin dashboard, the middle row is community, and here um, this is access to community and help pages, and a lot of the buttons here have to do with um, just kind of getting to know your community. So the first one is user list, and um, this is great to have a to check out, so you have a full list of all the users on your wiki, or if you're checking out other wikis. Um, you know, that you become an admin on. You can, you can see who's on there, who's part of the wiki. Um, it's a great way to get to know who's visiting your wiki, who's joined, um, and it's a great way to reach out to people. Um, and you can also see um, what the groups are, who belongs to what. So you can check out, like, who's a bureaucrat, um, who's the founder, etc. cetera. Um, you can also see how many edits they've done, when they've last logged in, and um, what their last edit was that links right out to their last edit. So that's a really helpful tool to get to know. Um, the next button is user rights. This is um, something that Sarah is going to go over in a few minutes because this is one of the questions we get most on Community Central is people have a hard time figuring out how, you know, how do I make somebody a bureaucrat? How do I do that? Like, how do I... Um, how do I give them more permissions? And so this is a great place, and Sarah's going to go over that um, when I'm done talking. Um, so the next button is Community Corner, and this is actually one of my favorite parts of the wiki um, because I think it's a really great way to communicate with your community. Um, I've seen it used in a lot of different ways. Some people just like to use it to communicate to people and write stuff about their wiki, and then I've seen it used as um, tasks to be done, sort of like a, a virtual to-do list for the community as a whole to figure out what to do, if pages need to be added or if there are stubs that need to be finished, um, stuff like that. It's really great. And other wikis use it to um, post about up upcoming events like movie releases or game releases or, you know, episodes that are, are coming up. Um, it's a great way to communicate and um, I highly recommend you mess around with it because it's fun. Um, the next button is help and this links out to the help pages on community and it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, it's help. <laughs> so I would check it out if you have some questions around it. Um, and then the last row is content, which I'm not going to be going over specifically just because everything is pretty much um, self-explanatory. You add categories, add a page, add a photo, write a blog post, add multiple photos. Um, like I said earlier, I would encourage you to create a test wiki and fiddle around with them if you're unsure because that way you can write your own blogs there and it's one of the great things about a test wiki is it's kind of like your own sandbox and you can go through all of these tabs and fiddle around with them and you don't have to worry about um, you know the rest of the community seeing stuff so we're going to move on to that and then the next is um, quick stats so we added quick stats because who doesn't love stats I love stats I love seeing who's visited my wiki um, I love to see how many people are there. It's always really exciting to see those numbers rise. And the quick stats, um, they're seven days, and um, they update once every tw 24 hours, and you get to see um, how many people have viewed your wiki, how many edits have been made, and how many photos have been uploaded. So that's an awesome tool to check out. I know for, for me, I'm, I'm a total nerd stat, so I get really excited about that. Um, and the 
next page is the advanced tab and that's known to a lot of us as special pages and there are so many different tools and logs and when I first saw special pages when I first started here I was just it was crazy to me how much information is on this page. So I'm, I'm, we don't have enough time to go over every single special page, but I would encourage you to get in there and take a look around. Um, it's a great way to become a power user by getting to know all of the all of those links and see what's going on. And um, it's a great way to maintain your overall health of your wiki. Um, and so the next is the wiki progress bar, and this is something that is only on brand new wikis. Um, it's a great tool. It helps, um, basically it gives you a rundown of tasks, skip tasks and bonus tasks. And every time you complete one of those tasks, like fill out your main page, add 10 photos, add three categories, every time you or somebody else on your wiki, another admin, um, or another editor um, completes that task, they go gray, and then the percentage will continue, and it'll increase until you hit 100%. And so that's a great way if you're new to wikis. Um, these tasks are basic tasks that will help you um, basically get your wiki off the ground. It's by no means, once you hit 100%, by no means are you finished with your wiki, but it's a great way to figure out um, what exactly needs to be done, especially if you're new. And that is it for um, the admin dashboard. And we're going to um, take questions at the end. So if you have any questions, jot them down, and I'll be happy to answer them at the end. Thanks, you guys. Oh, thanks. Sorry, a uh, little bit of a sound issue there. Thanks, Megan. That was super informative. Um, for everyone who thinks, wow, that's a lot of information, um, it is, and we know that. So it's important to remember that we'll be posting this afterwards. Um, also, you can find all of these tools just by clicking on that admin link um, on your custom toolbar. So at any time, as Megan mentioned, it's good to just go there, um, play around, play around with the... Um, with the buttons that are there, uh, set up a test wiki to try out and ask your other admins what's working and not working for them. Um, and if you have questions that I posted there in the channel, definitely send them in. And also I see there's, um, from some of the names on the attendee list, is there are a number of um, active wikians um, and active admins and bureaucrats who are here today. So if you have any um, tips or advice for new admins or bureaucrats, please just send them in and we'll be happy to read them out. Um, at the end. Um, so what I'm going to go through now is how to promote other u other users to admins. Um, right now we've had a big focus on helping new founders and, and one of the things that we've been doing is asking folks as they start a wiki, you know, what is one of the biggest challenges or what's one of the things that's super confusing as you're starting out? Um, and we're taking that information and making new features such as the admin dashboard and wiki features um, and also trying to tailor some of our support information like this webinar to help to help those new admins. Um, and one of the things that I've heard a couple of times is, um, okay, I'm here on my wiki, and I'm not really sure how can I get other people to help, who should I make an admin, and actually how do I make them an admin, I don't understand. Um, so I'm going to go through a bit now of when and who to make an admin, and then just the quick easy steps of how to do that. Um, so who, when should you make someone an admin and who should you make an admin? Um, so it's important to remember that there's lots of editors on your wiki and all of them um, have strengths um, and can be really good at adding different facts and information to the wiki. But when you're looking for an admin, you need to consider beyond just their edits, um, information um, of, of how they're acting on your wiki and how they act towards other users. So it's important um, to make sure that that person is both an active editor as well as helpful to other users. So a good way to find this out is to look at their contributions or to look at their talk page and see, you know, are they helping to new users or, or are they being a bit aggressive? Um, are they um, fair in passing judgment and always assuming good faith, which is um, a very important wiki principle um, to think that, you know, you, you, new users aren't, um, aren't trying to be malicious in any way, they're just having a bit of trouble. Um, so making sure that they're understanding in their actions on the wiki. Um, it's also important to check in with them that they actually want to be an admin. Um, 
as Megan showed you, there's a number of tools and responsibilities that come along with being an admin on a wiki. And it's important to make sure that the person, one, has the time they can dedicate to the wiki. So do they have time to check in every day? And do they have an interest in taking on um, those diplomatic responsibilities? So if two users do get in a disagreement, are they willing to be able to sit there either in live chat or um, through messages on their talk pages? Um, and um, talk through some of these issues with other users. Um, once you find someone um, and talk with the rest of your community about who should be um, a new admin, it's super quick and easy, um, takes under a minute um, to be able to make them um, into an admin. Just go to um, the admin dashboard to the page where it says user rights, click on that button, uh, and then what it'll prompt you to do is add in that user's name. Um, so here, this is my sock puppet that I've just done a screenshot with. Um, and you add in that uh, account name, and then what will pop up is what's called their user rights page. And um, this will list what rights they already have, and then gives you the option to add um, rights as well. So all you have to do is go down to the area where it says groups you can change, um, check the box of um, what you'd like them to be. So admin is it's short for administrator. Um, check that box. Um, give a reason why. So saying promotion or um, if your community had a vote, if there was a number of people there, say, you know, due to the vote of where we all decided. Um, hit save and they will automatically um, have access to all of the admin tools. So they'll automatically be able to block users, um, delete pages, um, and get access to all the tools that, that Megan went through. Um, if you feel that they should also have the ability to make other users admins, um, you can check the bureaucrat box there as well um, and hit save and then they'll have the option to also make other people admins. Um, so all that should only take a matter of, of a few minutes um, to get done and then you'll have um, a fellow admin working with you. Um, once that's done, um, although that takes a few minutes, it's important to um, think a bit about um, how to structure your wiki now that there's more than one person acting as the admin. Um, so it's good to often talk about, okay, what's working well on the wiki and maybe what's not working well? And what direction do you want the wiki to go in? Um, it's important to kind of have goals and think about, okay, um, you know, we have maybe only one or two other people here now, you know, how can we build up the community here? Should we think about maybe um, expanding in other ways, maybe posting on Community Central asking for other editors, or should we try to set up maybe a Twitter account and try to reach out to other fans of the topic that we're interested in? Um, it's also important to consider who's going to be responsible for what. Everyone has the same admin rights, um, but sometimes some people are better at certain tasks than others. So um, talk about you know, who might be responsible for blocking users or who might be best at you know, creating an awesome custom theme. Um, it's also important to um, uh, think about some local policies. Um, you don't want to get too aggressive too early on in the policies and that people come to contribute and all of a sudden break a policy without knowing it, uh, but it is good to set some guidelines of what's appropriate, how do you speak to each other on this wiki, and what's the best way um, for you to build this content together. Um, and a lot of it is just having open discussion and really thinking about your thoughts. Um, I would also encourage you to go to other wikis. Um, we have a lot of um, big and active wikis across the site, and a lot of them have gone through um, many of these um, community building efforts. So go to them and ask them, you know, what worked best for your wiki, and do you have any advice um, if you're just starting out of what, what is the best way to grow the community, um, as well as on these admin responsibilities. Um, so at this time, um, I'm going to um, look at some of the questions that we got sent in. Feel free to keep sending them. Um, and I want to thank, um, so it'll look like there's a second Sarah Manley on here, but it's actually um, Trella Roth, who um, the software, for some reason, thinks that I'm her, she's me. Um, but she's been um, collecting the questions and will be continuing to answer them. Um, uh, so uh, I want to thank her for, for manning that for us right now. Um, so Megan and I will go back and forth um, a bit about um, uh, some of these questions here. Um, and like I said, if you continue to have more, just send them in. Um, so relating to the theme designer, um, one of the questions we got was, um, if you're making a custom color scheme, how do you choose the text color? Um, so unfortunately, at this time, the theme designer um, doesn't um, 
doesn't have access or doesn't allow you to change just the basic text color. You can change the links, the buttons, the transparency, um, but the, um, the text color isn't one of the options. So if you need to do that, you're going to actually need to get a bit more um, customized and use um, some custom CSS, um, which hopefully will be a session that we do later on is in, in getting more in depth in, in how to make some of those custom themes. But currently right now, um, the theme designer just lets you um, change the button colors, the link colors, um, which is often helpful to have the link colors be distinguished from the text colors um, so folks know when they click there that they're going to be going to a different page, um, the header color and the background color. Um, so hopefully that answered your question. Um, a second question we have here is on the Harry Potter wiki, they have send an owl. How do you do that? So I'm going to look here quickly um, at the Harry Potter wiki to see send the owl. I'm actually not sure exactly at the moment. Um, what area that is referring to. I think it might mean to send a message to another user. Um, maybe whoever sent that question in, um, maybe go to the talk page, can give us a bit more details. Trello will try to help you with um, what area that's in. I'm sorry, I'm not exactly sure of where the send the owl part is. Um, but we'll try to get back to that later. Um, and other questions, I don't see any others in the chat right now. Um, if anyone has them, um, please send them in. Um, okay, I'm seeing one here from uh, Zachary. Um, how do you permanently block a user? I have a user um, who keeps creating new accounts, and I can't, um, I can't seem to stop him. So um, one important tool that we have that we didn't mention um, is a team of volunteers called um, the VSTF, vstf.wikia.com, which I'm actually going to post in the channel right now. Um, so when you go to block a user, um, you'll go to their username, um, and when you click on the contributions tab, you'll actually see an option to block that user. Um, and in that block area, you actually have the ability um, to block them for a certain period of time. Um, if the user is causing a lot of problems, um, usually we say to be kind of lean, um, you know, fair in the block and that, you know, if they're causing not too many problems, just do a couple week block um, to give them a chance to kind of cool off um, and then have time to um, come back to the wiki. But if they're continuing to, to cause a problem, um, we say you can block them for a longer period of time, like a couple of months. Um, and if they're actually starting to um, cause problems with creating new accounts, you also have the ability to block what we call their IP address, um, which there you can actually undo allowing them um, to even get in as another account. Um, but um, the first place um, I would say, though, to, to, to do that if it's your first time and you're having some trouble is to actually either contact staff who then um, kind of can walk you through that. So you can email us or um, contact the group, which I linked there, the VSTF, um, which is our volunteer um, spam task force, and they um, can help you in also blocking those local users. Um, so. Um, we um, will then, um, you can ask them for help in walking through blocking the IP um, that you need to be a bit more careful with because um, that will actually block anyone um, who uses that IP address, which sometimes can mean people at a school or a cafe. Um, so you may block more people than you intend to. Um, you can also um, use, as uh, someone's helpfully sending out, um, use um, a tool called Check User to actually be able to see, um, that's what both staff and VSTF will use to see if a user is making multiple accounts. Um, and so this can be important um, and, you know, sometimes people think they'll create more than one account and be able to then um, fool us, but we're actually able to see that as well. So um, you can also um, do that um, access that tool um, via the advanced tab that Megan showed earlier in the um, in the admin dashboard. Um, sorry, just checking in on um, on some of the other questions. Um, I, I can't. Um, so someone is asking about the colors on the admin dashboard. Um, I'm, I'm guessing that you're referring to the fact that the admin dashboard is kind of light in color. Um, so when you go to the admin dashboard, it actually has a bit of its own coloring. Um, one thing that we're working on um, is um, making that coloring match a bit better um, to all wikis. And we know right now it, it can be a little stark 
on um, darker wikis. Um, but that's one thing. I don't have an actual date I can give you right now, um, unfortunately, but it is something that our engineers are looking at. So over the next um, couple of weeks, hopefully we'll have a further update. Um, you can check into, um, actually, this is a good time. I'm just going to, I'm still going to go through your questions, but I just want, in case anyone has to pop off, to talk a little bit about the resources of where um, the information that I'm talking about lives and where you can find updates. Um, so one of the main resources we've created is the Founder and Admin Central. Um, this is um, part of Community Central, so if you go to community.wikia.com. Um, and here, this kind of sub-area within the Community Central is geared really towards Founder and Admin. So we have um, a uh, forum where you can post questions. Um, there's areas where you can ask for help. There's links to best practices. Um, you can also um, find blog posts um, um, on our staff blog that are geared directly towards um, founders and admins. There's also a section of the staff blog called technical updates where we do a bit more detailed um, technical review of our um, weekly updates to the site. So if you are someone who is very interested in the technical aspects of the site and tweaks and changes such as um, the, release, the update of the dark dark skins and the admin dashboard, um, you can um, find that um, on the staff blog. Um, but let me just um, checking back in here with Trella of other questions um, that are coming up right now. Oh, you did. Oh, so we actually, um, oh, okay. So um, Megan did some investigating um, uh, about the OWL. Um, so the OWL is actually just part of what we call a site-wide message, um, which is a um, staff tool. Um, well, it's actually part of a notification area that lives similar to where the site-wide message is. Um, that is um, an automated message that is created by the site that has a local um, a local what we call media wiki message that lives locally um, that you can actually change the um, text on. So um, uh, it'd be a good follow-up for that would actually be to post in the admin forum um, and we can give you a direct link to the um, to the page um, that lists the message that you can update so that you can say um, for your wiki if you wanted to say um, you have a new owl or something that maybe fits better with your um, your topic so you have a new um, something really I'm sorry I can't think of a more creative ideal than the owl since that's pretty cute um, uh, so there's a question about this webinar has been useful great happy to hear that um, clapping from my end um, Yes, we're going to be hosting more of these in the future. So as, as you can tell, this is our, our first, um, first live webinar that we've run. And we're um, now, over the next two months, planning to hold them um, on the first Tuesday um, of the month. So the next one will be on the first Tuesday of November. Um, and the following will be the first Tuesday of December. Um, and actually, if you go to, um, I'll post the link in the group chat right now, but if you go to Community Central, um, I will be linking a recording of this webinar um, as well as the dates and the links to register um, future webinars on, on that webinar page. Um, so you can check back there. Um, we'd also um, love all of your feedback and advice. So if there are um, topics that you are interested in, um, we would love um, for you to send us in ideas. Um, these webinars are really meant for the community, so if there's a certain topic that you really want to hear about, um, please um, either send a message in via special contact or email us directly at community um, at uh, wikiainc.com. Um, you'll also see tomorrow that um, you'll be getting a follow-up email. It'll look kind of like the generated email that you got from this one that'll have a link to um, a customer um, support um, survey. And in it, um, there'll be a space for also you to link um, your feedback both on the quality of the webinar as well as ideas um, for future webinars. Um, there were another questions asking about, will we be talking about future products? Um, I'm hoping actually each month to bring in um, different guest speakers. So t 
today um, we were able to have Megan come speak and I'm hoping in the future to actually um, get people from both our engineering team as well as our product team to talk a bit about um, the products that they develop um, and some best practices around how to use them. Um, so actually in November we're hoping to um, get some of the team members um, from the wiki navigation and the message wall product that are coming out to be able to talk with us and talk a bit about um, the design and best practices on using that. So um, we're definitely hoping in the future to be able to um, have um, a variety of um, guest speakers. Um, I'm also seeing a couple of tips coming through, thankfully, um, from some of our pro admins here. Um, and one of the tips um, that's coming in um, is from uh, Manav. Hopefully I said your name right there. Um, uh, and he says, or she says, um, if you get promoted to an admin, it's important to still be yourself, which I totally agree with. Do not try to be someone you're not in order to try to be a better admin. Being yourself is the best way to be a good admin and to get on the good side of the community. Um, that's an important thing is, although, you know, here we're giving tips about needing um, to be responsible, um, you also need to remember to have fun. The whole point of Wikia is to get together with people that are on your wiki um, to talk about topics that you enjoy. So whether that's Harry Potter or NASCAR or your favorite cooking recipe or um, any topic that's out there, Call of Duty, um, it's important to remember to be yourself. I definitely agree with that and to, you know, let your personality show. And just because you're an admin, it doesn't mean that you have to know everything about the topic and everything about every aspect of Wikia. Um, being able to admit that when you don't know an answer or you aren't quite sure how to do something is really important as well. And asking um, for people's help. You know, this isn't a blog where you're, just, you're spouting out to other people. It's a community and it's a wiki where we all work together. Uh, and so being able to remember who you are and to remember that the whole point is that it, we're a community um, is a really important part of um, being an admin on a wiki community. Um, a couple of other um, tips that are coming up here, um, one from Cook Me Plucks. Um, set up a process for people to gain user rights. Don't make a unilateral decision if there's anyone else that's a part of your community. Yeah, so some of the tips we gave earlier um, were also about people just starting off, but as your wiki grows, it's important to remember to take in um, everyone's um, opinion into account. Um, and so um, as your, your wiki gets bigger, it's, it's good to think about what are some of those processes. You know, how are people going to um, become admins? Um, and I think also, you know, setting up the process but also being willing to be flexible is important because some people, um, you know, might not be the best necessarily at um, editing media wiki messages, but they are... Um, they are um, really great at welcoming new users, and they have an awesome new tone and really creative ideas. So it's just important to remember that in the community, um, everyone has strengths and everyone has weaknesses. So remembering that as you set up processes as well. Um, yep, and this kind of goes along with another tip that came, never be afraid to ask for help. Admins can't do everything after all. Um, yep, and that kind of goes along with the fact that remembering this is a community. Um, and just going through some more as we start to finish up here. Um, uh, another great tip, you can color admins using, yep, yep. Um, I think, um, uh, let's see, what else? Um, another tip is to remember that MediaWiki affects the entire wiki. Um, so what, um, what that means is some of those local messages, when you do make those changes, um, are going to affect everyone's view. Um, so if you make an owl. Yeah, so if you, if you, if you make an owl, if you, if you edit your message and say the owl is hooting at you, um, everyone who comes to your wiki is going to see that. Um, for further um, MediaWiki and, and CSS help, I really suggest um, visiting um, the forums. We have some really great users, some of which are listening in right now, who come and help and visit um, both the founder and admin forum, but also the community support forum. A lot of people also hang out in the group in the group. Um, chat area, so um, if you're in immediate need of live help, um, it's it's a good place to jump in there as well. Um, and if you need help with something quickly, hop on Community Central's chat. Someone was reading my mind. Uh, many of us sit in there all day. So yeah, it's important to remember that there is some live help, but also to have patience since um, 
you know, all of us are trying to help, and sometimes it takes a bit of investigating to figure out the answer. Um, I want to thank everyone for these awesome tips. I think this has been super helpful. Um, again, proving that um, our community and our support community here at Wikia doesn't just include us who are staff, but a lot of admins um, and also just a lot of users who help out all the time. So I want to thank everyone for sending in these tips, as well as those um, who are um, who are sending in ideas and questions. Um, so I think now, since almost all of the questions have gotten answered, um, we're going to start to close up the session. Um, thank you, um, everyone, for attending. Um, I want to give a big thank you to both Trella and Megan um, for, um, for sitting in on this session, and they've been practicing a lot with me this week. Um, so thank them for taking the time out of their schedule to both answer questions and present today. Um, and um, I will be posting this on uh, Community Central, um, as well as the audio and the presentation. And um, please, again, if you do have ideas um, for, um, for future webinars you'd like to hear about, um, or future recordings you'd like to see, um, please let us know. Um, and please take a moment to fill out um, the, um, the feedback survey, because that helps us in improving um, the webinar that we can ask. Um, uh, that we can offer you. Um, Megan will also has just volunteered to jump into the Community Central chat. Um, so if you go to um, community um, community.wakia.com and um, uh, on the right hand side you'll see a chat area. Um, she said she'll be there um, for a bit after this session um, to take further questions if you have them. So um, thank you once again and happy editing to everyone. <laughs>